Hi guys. Hello everybody. Welcome. Hello. Happy Thursday everyone. Yes. Hello Cynthia. Hi DM. Hi, Hi Mary Cynthia. Ellen. Hi Ziva. <laughs> or Zelda. Welcome. <laughs> Ziva. I was thinking of uh, NCIS. Uh, hello everyone and thank you dm for always being here i really appreciate it yes so what's new jen how was your week any good, good week. thrifting busy. this week busy I, i've only went to two thrift stores i'm trying to pace myself because mm -hmm. i'm gonna go see my sister this weekend and i know we're gonna hit like eight or nine oh, <laughs> so really? i'm trying to pace myself <laughs> yes hi shelly hello hi pamela Good to see you. I'm also hoping maybe to get out this weekend. Uh, oh, yeah? Either the flea market just opened or there's an estate sale. I don't know where I'm going to go. <laughs> you you we'll know see. what? I just found out, speaking of flea markets, that's what made me think of it. We have one here that's only open on Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, but all I went to the to look at, you know, on the Facebook, their Facebook group or whatever, because I didn't know it existed. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know it existed. I've, I, we've lived here. My daughter was three. She's 21. So what's that? 18? 18 mm -hmm. years. Never knew it existed, but it's every Sunday. But everything I saw was like clothes and shoes. And so I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It's worth a look. You never know. Oh, Denise, I'll text you. Carry yeah. on. I'm going to text Denise. <laughs> Carry on. I, I'm just going to mind to point out that you did say the Facebook. Just, the, just FYI. <laughs> I looked on the Facebook. Did I really? Yeah. I didn't even notice. I, <laughs> well, we're on the YouTube right now. So. We're on the YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But Hello, everybody coming in. I see Pamela and Shelly, Denise. Hello. Hi, Kim. Becky's Vintage and More. Hello, hello, Carrie Ann. So, guys, if you're new in this chat, um, you do need to be subscribed to the channel in order to chat within the chat. Just hit subscribe and you'll be able to chat. Um, that is how we'll be bidding. I also wanted to say a big thank you to all of my subscribers. I'm getting very close to a thousand. Um, I believe I may have a, some new subscribers that might be in here. Thank you for coming and subscribing. I know Monday, Jason had uh, from Mother Tucker's gave me a little shout out and I got all these nice. new subs at once. So thank you guys. Nice. Um, what else is going on? Let's see. I will mention that we on this channel, we do offer ups. Our offer ups stay open until everybody says they're out. Uh, if we go ahead and start counting it down, going once, twice, um, if someone comes in during the countdown, we will keep it open until everyone's had a chance to bid and say that they're out. Also, shipping is not included, but we'll get into that shortly. So everything going good over there in Texas, Jen? I saw your Hot. sale yesterday and you guys are in the 90s. Hot. It's 80, my computer says 85 right now. It's very humid been very humid but we're expecting thunderstorms they're supposed to start around like three o'clock but maybe they'll miss us but it is i feel already. it's been chilly in the 50s raining really? cold oh it's humid today this soupy dm you're in the 90s too oh well, ah, see florida florida maybe, maybe you guys can push it over my way please no, push your weather over to us. That's what we want. <laughs> we want your weather over to us. Mm. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, uh, both Jen and I use PayPal to invoice and pirate ship. I'm going to go ahead and pull Jen over to say a little bit about herself and all of the fun things. Oh. Hi, Bug. <laughs> Good to see you. Well, hello. Hello, hello everyone. If you are unfamiliar with me, I am Jen Eads. Um, I do YouTube live sales Monday through Friday, two on Wednesday, and it's been two on Thursday <laughs> as, as well here lately. Um, but um, I ship from Texas. 
I invoice twice a week. I invoice on Wednesday evenings for my first four sales of the week. And then I invoice again on Saturdays uh, for my last three sales of the week. Um, I also use Pirate Ship to get you the cheapest shipping rate possible um, and invoice through PayPal. And hello, Apple. Hi, Shelly. Good to see you guys. Um, let's see. I said Texas. Blah, 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 blah. If you guys don't know, Jen has some new content. She's doing shop oh. with me's and you yeah. guys should go check them out. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. Support Jen and her shop with me's. <laughs> what? I, I've been watching them. I like You're them. so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But myself and Roy, we've been doing this every Thursday sale for a minute. <laughs> for a minute. Uh, over a year. Possibly, mm -hmm. possibly almost two. I think I've lost track. I've lost track, but we alternate channels every week. Uh, so um, this week we are on Roy's channel. Next week we're going to be over on my channel. And hello, Thomas. So Look that me. means, guys, if you're not subscribed to my friend Jen, make sure you go over there and subscribe as well, because next week we'll be on her channel and you want to get a notification when we go live together. Can you just stay with me like all the time and just be my hype man? Because that's exactly what you're being my hype man right now. You're showing me so much love. I appreciate it. It's because I love you, Jen. I love you back, Roy. <laughs> I love you back. Um, I, I think, I, oh, if you're new, though, if you are new to me, I do like to point out that my email doesn't in a dot net. I'm a dot net girl. <laughs> uh, so if you do, per if you are new to me, you do purchase this evening, I will need four pieces of information from you. Uh, I will need your real name, your YouTube name, because what if they're different? Sometimes they are um, your mailing address and your PayPal email address. Um, and you can send that to Jenny's at Verizon dot net. And I think that's it. <laughs> Thank you, uh -huh. DM. DM just put it in. She also Copy put in your off. district link. Oh, my district. Yes, I'm also on district. <laughs> I, am, I am on um, Crazy Lamp Ladies. Uh, Knickknacks. Knickknacks. I, I do sell on there. Um, and yeah, that's it. I don't do eBay. I do Facebook Marketplace. But I guess... If y'all local, you can check that out. <laughs> um, but I do sell, I do sell on knickknacks. Uh, so I do have listings there <laughs> as well. If you want to check them out. I think that's it. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. I'll pull myself Thank over. Thank you. In case you're new to my channel, my name's Roy from Dust Not Included. My email is down below. If your information has changed from the last time you've sent it to me or you're new, Please make sure to email me at dustnotincluded at gmail.com with the same information Jen just said. Um, I ship from Rhode Island and I will be invoicing tomorrow evening. So it's Friday evening. You'll get your invoice. So make sure after the sale, if you purchase something, to send me your information. Um, Mondays at 8 a.m., I like to do a shop with me. So please go check those out. Um, hit the like button if you like them. I'd appreciate that. It always helps me. I'm and also over on Knickknack and Vamp, as DM is letting everybody know. Um, there is a code, dustno 80 You can get $5 off. If anyone doesn't know, Nick and Vamp are marketplaces on a different platform other than YouTube. It's called District. You would have to download their app. Um, and hmm, what else is going on? I think that's it for me this week. Well, also, also, if anybody is looking for Avon, let Roy know. <laughs> <laughs> Jen saw that my last video, there was a huge selection. <laughs> he found the holy grail of Avon. That's still funny to me. <laughs> they had it in a case, y'all. They was locking it up. They did. Locking it. Avon some of is it good. is good, DM. Some of it Avon is good. Avon is good, but they... I've never seen I've never seen a place lock it up. Like, I don't know what to say. Yeah, they valued it. it they value cool. it. <laughs> no, it was just funny to see it all like that. <laughs> um, let's pull ourselves up together. Do you That's have anything funny. else you want to talk about or anything before we go and get started? Um, not that I can think of. I think we covered. Me neither. 
everyone here are pros. They know how I this know. works. <laughs> and if you're not and you're new, just ask questions in the chat. DM will answer, or when one of us see it, we'll answer. DM is our moderator, so pay attention and she'll help you out. She helps me out. Helps help me out. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pull you up, Big Jen, and you can kick us off. Okay. Okay. All right. My first item, sorry. My first item is going to start at $8. And I have had some of the smaller um, elf measuring cups. Now I've got the big ones. <laughs> I've got, I had the teaspoon, tablespoons. These are the big daddies. These are the quarter cup. <laughs> and they're brand new. They still have the little, the little paper, paper plastic right here. Here is the third cup. If y'all can hear Aspen, I'm sorry. She's literally thinks she's abused because she's in her kennel right now. <laughs> she's, she's like, what am I doing in here? Uh, here is the half cup. That. And then we got the big daddy, the one cupper right here. So these would be so cute at Christmas. If I see an elf of any kind, new, old, whatever i have to pick it up because i love them so much and i love christmas so um here it is no chips on any of them it's this cute little face very cute and it, and they're new they are new oh it looks like maybe some of the little that may have gotten scratched off but no chips i see mike is interested at eight dollars <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even see that. I, didn't, I was reading Denise. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I meant to text her anyway. Hello, there. Mike. Hello Mike. Good to see you. <laughs> All right. If Mike's the only one interested, we'll count these down for Mike. So going once. Going twice. And so to Mike for $8. Congratulations, Mike. They are coming to you. <laughs> Thank you. I love them. They are so cute. All right. The next item is going to start at $8 as well. So I did put that in. Um, and it's this cool shell right here. And it has all these like little shells decorated around it as well. It's really kind of fun. Hi, Hi Patty. Patty. Good to see you. How you doing, girl? Right here. And I can actually see light through it. So it is it is rather thin, but I do feel like there is some sort of a glaze, if you will, um, around it, probably to protect it. I see Pamela is interested at $8. Thank you, Pamela. And then I will measure. Oh, let me show you some of the little shells that are right in here because I think that is so fun right there all right I can measure it if it'll stay all right don't go roly poly in all right six and a half inches long and about three and a half inches tall so six six and a half by three inches tall and if miss pamela is the only one interested we can count it down for miss pamela it's very fun and you can it you can sit it like this if you wanted but really fun put some pearls coming out of here oh my gosh that'd be so cute going once <laughs> sorry no that's okay i was decorating i was decorating <laughs> going <laughs> twice and so to Pamela for $8. Congratulations, Pamela. It is coming to you. And just FYI, I don't think this will fit in your existing box. So I'm going to have to make you a second box if that's okay. <laughs> if that's okay. Um, oh, this would be perfect in a mermaid bathroom. Perfect. All right. I have one, Thomas. <laughs> I do have one. I do have one. All right, my last item this round is, 
eight dollars as well. But I think I just grabbed the eight dollar things apparently first. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, guys. All right. Uh, so I have a wooden um, mortar, mortar and pestle right here. Really fun. Like this would be cute just for decor in your kitchen right here. Um, it is I'm Musa. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, it is the brand of it. Um, but it looks to be in amazing condition. And this would be great for your kitchen, for your bathroom, just wherever. It's not super heavy either. It's not super heavy wood. Um, but it measures four inches tall by four and a half inches round right here. And then the this part is six and a half inches long by about an inch and a half about an inch and a half maybe maybe lemon uh, but i did look this up and this is a company uh that makes they made this they made um coffee um like french presses and stuff like that um as well like a kitchen company <laughs> gadgets for the kitchen i guess <laughs> right there so eight dollars if anyone is interested in this if not we can pass and those were my three so thank you so much all right thank you jen in florida okay see i i know whenever i looked them up uh i knew they had other stuff i should i, I should thomas <laughs> all right my first thing i'm in trouble <laughs> oh look at it. thomas is gonna get me in trouble and i love it <laughs> <laughs> thomas is gonna get you in trouble I love that's it. his goal <laughs> My first item up is going to be a straight claim, guys. First person to put in the letter T will win, well, can purchase this Corningware canister. It is $12. It measures six inches tall with a four inch diameter. And let me open it and show you guys the lovely daisy pattern. So this is a uh, Corningware. And it is their daisy pattern. Bright yellow daisies. I see you, Mary Ellen, for tea for the Corningware Daisy Canister. Nice. These are awesome, okay. and I love their covers and how tightly they seal. So thank you very much. It's coming to you. Congrats. My next item is a choice round. So they're $12 each. First person with the letter G will have their choice. I have two coaster sets, both vintage, $12 each, and I'll show them both individually. The first coaster set for $12 <laughs> is this awesome elephant. This is a lacquered box. There are six coasters inside, each with that elephant pattern. I just love the black and the blue. Those bright, vibrant colors against the black. So that is the first set, this lacquered box containing the coasters. And the other one is, are these lovely roses. This is hand painted and made in Japan. It is a um, composite, like a paper mache composite. And there are eight of these coasters. I love the bright colors on here again. That's what attracted me to these. They do say on the back, hand painted, made in Japan. And there are eight of these. And I like how they store all nice and neat. I see you, Mike. You said $12, so I'm assuming you are the first one in. So are you interested in the roses or the elephant? Or both. Love those colors. The elephant has four 
and the roses has eight. Both, you would like both, you got it. The coasters are coming to you, Mike, thank you. Hi, Dog Dog. All right, my last item up this round, guys, is going to be an offer up at $20. I have a 1970s Anesco cat bank. This cat measures seven inches by eight and a half. Look at this face. So here's the full bank in its glory, but look at that face. I love it. The little hearts on the cheek with the stars in the eyes. I will show you guys the back. That's where you put your all of your monies. And on the bottom, it does have its stopper and it is stamped and has its original sticker in 1979 there, Anesco. So I just love the, this cat and his face. I think it's very interesting and different. Let's get his face in there. Look at that. Ooh. I don't know why. I just think he's, he reminds me of the Chestershire cat yeah. a little bit. Yeah, uh, right? Right? I was just going to say that too. It's the grin. I know. <laughs> the grin. And, but I don't see any interest, so I will go ahead and pass on this cat. Did I? Highlight I, mean, I, I did, and then I hit it. But all right. Jen, Sorry. you are up next. Bet, Patty. Bet. <laughs> I always measure my items, Doug. I just pre-measure <laughs> because I don't have a ruler nearby. Oh, hi, Marcy. Hi, Marcy. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, guys. My first item is going to start at $10.00. And I have a large, a beautiful cracked egg. I haven't had one of these in a second, but look how big that is. And I'll come in on the colors and it does have a sticker on it. It says hand painted and trimmed with 10 karat gold. So la 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 right there. Here are the colors. And there's even a design in the gold painting at the top. You have some gold on each foot. No chips, no cracks. This one is formalities. I did not know they made crack eggs. This is my second formalities piece uh, this week. The first one was an eggplant <laughs> lady. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun. It was really fun. Uh, but I will go ahead and measure this one because she's a big lady six inches tall and about four and a half inches wide. So six by four. That's very measure pretty. The flowers. I will measure those for you, Thomas. I will measure. The flower is an inch and three quarters. An inch and three quarters. That eggplant lady was awesome. You don't know what you're talking about, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Doug. <laughs> It was awesome. A little creepy, little creepy, but awesome. I like the creepy and weird stuff. It's fun for me. All right. Not seeing any interest in our cracked egg. So we will pass on that. And then my next item is going to start at $6. And I have five glass stirrers. So I have three, what, margaritas? <laughs> margaritas maybe? And I guess these could be olives. They are amber, um, amber color, and then three of the margaritas. And let me see if I can show you uh, the glow on those. It may be a little too bright. Oh, well, there you go. I see Noelle is interested at six. Hi, Noelle. Good to see you. So the margaritas do glow, the amber ones do not, but the margarita does. 
and they even have little limes a little a little um a little lime slice and i'm gonna go out on a limb and say if your margarita glows in the dark you might not want to drink it i i would get two <laughs> order two <laughs> order two of them but they're really fun they're really fun here's the bottom no breaks and if miss noel is the only one interested we can count it down hi cujo she's like i'm trying to sniff all this <laughs> stuff going once going twice and sold to Noel for six dollars. Congratulations, Noel! They are coming to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, let me set them down carefully. Carefully. All right, my next item is going to start at eight dollars, and I have a French press, which we were just talking about. <laughs> but I do have a French press um, right here. Yeah, no, Cujo is in charge. Everything does work on it. It does move up and down for your coffee. Print. I make French press coffee every Sunday, <laughs> every Sunday, and it is so good, so good. So this is all glass, um, no chips or anything around the spout. Uh, this one is made by Bonjour, and this almost is like a Bakelite handle, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is, but it's fun and it's sturdy. So it measures almost eight inches tall. And with the handle, it is about five inches wide. So $8 for the French press, if anybody is interested, it is in great condition. There. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I see Mike is interested at, in at, for this for $8. All right. We will be, come. I make it every, because it, I mean, it tastes so good. <laughs> it tastes so good. I love it. We make it every Sunday with our, um, we make a, we do a family breakfast every Sunday. So, um, oh, that's it? nice. It is, but I'm the one cooking everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice for the family. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. All right, we're going to count it down for Mike. So uh, going once, going twice, and sold to Mike. Thank you, Mike, so much. It's coming to you, and your son will love it. If he hasn't had French press coffee, it is so good. <laughs> so good. Uh, all right, those were my three. All right. Let me pull Thank my you. son over. My first item is going to be a claim, letter A. Oh, sorry, guys. Got one thing going in there and one thing not. Sorry. All right. Claim letter A for $18. I have a mid-century modern wood-carved antelope. This antelope is beautiful. It measures 11 inches tall and five inches in width. I'll bring this up close so you can see the detail of this antelope. Ooh. Trying to get this on screen here on the back. I can't highlight that, um, Roy. What do you need me to, oh, oh thank you, Jen. No, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm sitting here clicking, it ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Just hit me up when I'm screwing up. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be. That's what your job is. Tell me what I'm doing wrong because no, I need I want someone to do to it. it. <laughs> You're helping me. Yeah. So this guy, I love his long legs and the way he looks. The bottom has no markings, but it's a beautiful piece of wood. I love seeing the green in there. But I don't see any interest in him. So I will go ahead and pass on this. Isn't it beautiful, Denise? I think this is a beautiful piece. And there's no issues on him at all. 
All right, I will pass on him and bring up the next item back after. My next item is going to be a claim, letter R for $25. I have this beautiful Nippon tray. So this is, yeah, it's a um, vanity tray. It's Nippon made hand painted um, and it is an antique. So the back stamp here, and I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say my German is as bad as my Japanese. So the little <laughs> wreath with the circle is uh, Mori Morum, uh, and it's marked in Nippon. So Nippon would be, uh, when I looked up the company, sometime between 1911 and 1921, this is all hand painted. And if you can see the raised gold paint detail all the way around, should get in the center there. It's just really pretty. And I can imagine putting all sorts of things on here. You could do cookies, you could do perfume bottles, make little vignettes. Um, it measures 11 inches in width and it is six and a half tall. And Patty, I see you in here. Thank you very much. It is coming to you. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> and my last item for this round is going to be a claim letter F for $15. I have this beautiful framed print. Well, it's a porcelain tile. If you can. So this is a uh, genuine Staffordshire ceramics made in England. So this is a ceramic tile set in this frame. And this is, um, what do they call that? Like a velvet. It measures six and a half by six and a half. It's in this gold frame. Look how beautiful those birds are with all of the flowers. I find this really interesting to add to a gallery wall because it's something different. It does have all of its information on the back. So genuine Staffordshire ceramics made in England. And it even shows you the company and the street right there and the series number. Just a really great piece to add interest to a wall. $15 letter F. but I don't see any interest. So I'll go ahead and pass on this. And that would be my last one for this round, Jen. Okay. So I'll bring you back on over. All right. All right, guys. So my uh, first item this round is going to start at $8. And I loved this thing. It reminded me of um, the rag rugs, but it's a basket. So all of this is material and it just screams like 80s to me because these are like the colors my mom had <laughs> um, in our house. But it is so fun. Like I could never, I could never do that. And I like even like the little bows, but if you don't like the bows, the bows can come off. I know we got bow people, we got non-bow people. <laughs> if you don't want the bows, they can come off, but it is a fun little basket. I say little though. It's not, <laughs> it's not that little. <laughs> it's not that little. Uh, so it measures 11 and a half inches tall. And it is the basket opening is eight and three quarter inches wide. So very fun, very neat. Like that mauve, like that was in all of our houses, right? Uh, no, it's like a, it's like a material. It's like, oh. it reminds me of the rag rugs, but it's a basket. <laughs> That's what it is. It's braided material. The bow, see if you can see it a little better right here. And then here is the bottom where you can see how they kind of just twisted and braided all of that together. Crochet rags, crochet rags. Okay. 
and then even the handle. I'll write that down, Denise. Crochet rags. Thank you, Denise. Crochet rags. I think it would kind of be fun, like if you would do have a team crafter, <laughs> they could put their yarn, their knitting stuff, and everything in here, or put it in your kitchen with like eggs and stuff in oh, it. That's I don't cute. know. I like the. I just liked the look of it. I thought it was so different because I'd never seen anything like it before. Again, there is the bottom. But if there's no interest in our basket, we can pass on that. I had a basket made of a sheet to coordinate with a bedroom set. That is what it reminds me of. Nice. Nice. I'm going to put my inventory sticker back on it. <laughs> Wherever it'll stick. All right. We'll pass on that. And then my next item is going to start at $6. And I have a fun um, garlic grater plate right here. It has a beautiful painting of olives. And then here is the obviously the little rough part. So this is where you grate. You can grate it for anything that you want. Um, this is made in Spain, um, handmade and hand painted garlic grates.com. You could right zest there. some lemon for your martini as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, could use it, you could use it for anything. This is above my pay grade though. <laughs> Zesting. <laughs> <laughs> Grating. That's, a, that's I above see my Patty favorite. Rose is interested for six dollars. Oh, thank you, Patty. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. I was trying to get in on that, um, that hand painting there because it is gorgeous, gorgeous. But if Miss Patty is the only one interested, we can count it down for Patty. So going once going twice and sold to patty for six dollars congratulations patty it's coming to you <laughs> thank you all right my last item this round is going to start at five dollars and it's the cow creamer i love these things anytime i find them i pick them up um, because, you know, you may not just use it as creamer. You can put like a little succulent in here. Put this in your kitchen if you have like a little farmhouse, farmhouse chic thing going on. But I love these things. I just don't find them very often. I thought uh, you were, when you were like, you don't have to use them for just as a creamer. I thought you were going to be like, you can put your orange juice in it. Hey, you could. Your orange juice for one with your little, um, <laughs> with your little juice cup. <laughs> <laughs> you could but it's fun it's so fun so i will measure it just going to start at five bucks so seven and a quarter inches long by four and a half inches tall four and a half inches tall and of course this is the handle right <laughs> that's the handle and you pour it if you want to use it for cream i would i'd probably use it just as cream too <laughs> just to have that on the table freak everybody out <laughs> but if there's no interest in our cow creamer we can pass on that and oh i love that idea i being marty plant a milkweed oh that's a great idea becky i Water like the idea of, yeah yeah that's a great idea great idea so we are passing on that but thank you guys for looking i appreciate you i think jen filled it before the <laughs> <laughs> All right, those were my three. Oh, that was I, quick, right? Yeah, I wasn't counting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, my first item up is going to be an offer up for twenty-five dollars. I have this beautiful Bristol glass vase. Ooh. So this is a Victorian hand-blown Bristol glass vase with a ruffled collar. It has hand painted detailing with enameling. I see Noelle is interested at 25. So we are looking for 26 or more. I'll show off more of it. I love the how it's blue and then fades into this tan color. The bottom has a ponsel. 
it measures 10 and a half inches tall. I, I just love these style ruffles at the top. And I will show all the way around here. And this is all that beautiful hand painting and enameling. It is also an antique, absolutely. If Noel is the only one interested, I will go ahead and count it down. Do you mind typing it in for me, Jen? Absolutely not, not a problem. Thank all you. Right. Going once, going twice, and sold to Noel. Congrats, Noel. Thank you, Noel. It's beautiful. I'm glad that you liked it. All right. My next item up is going to be a straight claim for $25. Letter N. I have a crystal glass dolphin. There we go. This is made by Lennox. It is crystal. It is seven inches tall by six inches wide. As you can tell, it has some frosted pieces, which are the waves and the clear pieces. I will show our dolphin face up front and show you the back. I just love the two-toned crystal, like the clear crystal, as well as the frosted together. I think that makes it really unique and stunning. On the bottom here, let's see if I can pull it up right there. So it is marked Lennox. You can't even see that, can you? Right there, Lennox. Just a beautiful <laughs> dolphin crashing through the water. <laughs> we'll find out. I'm going to go see her tomorrow. I don't see any interest, so I will go ahead and pass on the dolphin. All right. Put that down safely. And my last item for this round will be a claim. Letter E for $12. When Doug tries to help the self-esteem of the dolphin. That's a nice fin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice fin. <laughs> So $12, I have, it's for both, um, letter E. They are two miniature chamber pots in luster. They're two inches by three and a half. The first one here says, just my size. They're little luster chamber pots. I think they'd be cute with like uh, the little frozen Charlotte sitting inside or something. Mm. And then the other one here says, just what the doctor ordered, advised. Sorry, I'm modernizing its speech. <laughs> right. <laughs> While on camera, I'm like image translating. This one here does have some of the color of the luster fading away. On the bottom here, I couldn't read either one, but let's see if any of you can. It says made in, I can't read the rest because it's gone. Hmm. But they are really cute. I thought they had fun little sayings on them and they look cute in a little display. That's it's fun, right? It's different. Right? It's fun. It'll make you giggle every time you I just kept it. picturing frozen Charlottes in it. I don't know why. I'm weird. <laughs> um, but I don't see any thinking. interest. So I'll go ahead and pass on the mini chamber pots. And that was my last one this round, Jen. Okay. And I'm gonna pull you over. All right. 
All right, guys. My first item this round, I have That's a insane. lot that is going to start at $8, and it comes with six forks and five knives. Now, these are the appetizer forks right here. They have the wood handle. Love these things. Uh, they are marked. Let's see if we can get that to show. Maybe I just came in too hot. <laughs> I got to ease it back a little bit. All right, don't focus on me. Okay. Stainless steel. The mark stainless steel. So there are six forks. And then you're going to get five knives right here. They also have the little wood handle. And this one says stainless steel Hong Kong on them. So they are vintage. Right there. And you're going to get the whole lot. You're going to get the whole lot. Yeah, I was broken. <laughs> Making me choke over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So these are the last sets that I have. Uh, last sets available. You're getting all the forks, all the knives for one monies. $8 if anyone is interested. That's 11 pieces all together. Measure the point. There are no points. They rounded. <laughs> what are those for? Like cheese and butter? Probably for cheese, right? I, mean, I would butter? say, yeah. Cheese yeah. but, or butter. Yeah. All right. If there's no interest in these, we will pass. Put them back in the put them back in the baggie. Um, and then um, my next item is gonna start at six dollars right here. And I have a gorgeous hand painted um, stamps container. I love this thing, and it is signed by the artist as well. So it is you're, a, I'm sorry. I was going to say you're a little out of focus. Oh, there we go. Is that, okay. there we that's go. better. All right. So it has beautiful flowers. It is signed by Emmy. Emmy did such an amazing job. There is flowers on top as well. And then here is the inside. Patty Rose is interested at six. Looking Thank for you, seven Patty. More. Yeah, it is so pretty. I see DM is interested at seven, so we are looking for eight or more. Look at all those flowers. Perfect for spring. And here's the bottom. All right, and then I will measure it. So it measures uh, almost, oh no, it's about two and three quarter inches tall and a little over two inches wide. Patty Rose, are you interested at eight? Patty Rose is out, so DM is the only one interested at this time. All right, then we can count it down for DM. Thank you, DM. Thank you, Patty. So going once, going twice, and sold to DM for $7. Congratulations, DM. It's coming to you. Thank you. All right, my last item this round. Remember when you could afford to buy a roll of wine, right? We would actually go, we would actually get them um, uh, from Sam's, Sam's Club. Kind of like a Costco, but, you know, Walmart's person. Hello, Mark and Michael. Jen, bill us. Oh, I will do that. Oh, uh, gift alert. I will do that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Five bucks is my last item this round. And it is just so fun. It's like giving me boho vibes. I think it's a pin cushion because it's kind of like, or you could use it for a doll cushion, I guess. <laughs> um, but it does have a little hard place right here on the bottom. But I loved the colors. I love the colors on it. Going to start at $5 if anybody is interested. Very fun. 
And this is almost like a maybe felt, felty material. Right here. Love the design. I was just going to say, look at that different type of stitching on there. Yeah, it's very fun. Very fun. A spider's throne. I could put a spider on it. I could put a spider brooch on it for y'all. <laughs> that would be fun. All right, I will measure it. So around, it is five and a half inches round. And stands about maybe two inches tall. If I be, if I put a spider on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like the colors. I like the stitching. Very fun. All right. If there's no interest in this, we can pass. And those were my three. All Thank right. you, guys. Okay, That's my right. first. What's Thank up? You. I see Patty Rose. For Thank five. you, Patty. I'll just put I'll you pull down you over for and it. we can count it down. Oh, okay, I was just going to put her down for it. So going once. Going twice. And sold to Patty for $5. Congratulations, Patty. It's coming to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, my first item up this round is going to be a choice, letter K for $12. I have two angels, they'll be $12 each. They are both left in. All right, so I have an August left in angel, or I have a uh, left in angel from the Christopher collection. So, oh, so the cute. first one here has its original tag. It is the Christopher Collection by Lefton. Cute little angel measuring three and a half inches tall. No issues on her. She has a gold little halo playing the violin. Very nice detailed wings. And I'll show you guys the bottom here. Ah. Left in sticker, and it is from 1986, the Christopher Collection. So that's your first option of angels. The second one is this August angel. She has the flowers of August right there. Most adorable eyelashes. She has a little gold paint missing on her halo, so she's a little tarnished angel, you know. <laughs> uh, Same. <laughs> yeah, right. There are no hey. chips or anything to her basket. There's um, spaghetti all around there. She is August with her purple sash. Show you guys the back. She does have gold detailing on her dress as well. And her left in sticker has fallen off, but her numbers are right here 3332. Three, So choice in angels, $12 each, but I do not see any interest, so I will pass on these girls. Be cute. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Good to see you. Hello. All right. Uh, look at me. Uh, my next item is going to be a claim letter B for $20. I have this piece of coral. Look at the natural formation on this. I love it. It measures five inches by four. Perfect to decorate with. Look at that little hole. There was like a little creature living in there, I bet. And I will turn it all the way around. Show you guys the bottom. I love natural pieces like this, so I always try to bring them. It's just a really nice piece of coral. You could set your little mermaids on top of here if you have little figurines. But I'm not seeing any interest, so I will pass 
on the coral. Brain coral. It, 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 it's a very interesting type of coral. All right. Is that is that what it's called, Pamela? Brain uh, coral? Bro, I see Nick was interested. Sorry, Nick. For $20, letter B. I'm going to go ahead and count it down for you. Going once, going twice, and sold. Congrats, Nick. Thank you, Nick. All right. And my last item this round is going to be an offer up for $15. I have this mid-century modern green glass console bowl. Before It does have uh, two condition issues I wanted to point out. Let's get them on there before you guys. On the very edge, find it. There are two little chips. Right there's one. And the other one. is right there, very teeny. But can you even get that in there? There you go. So you can see it on the edge there. But it is a great piece. Let's see, black? No, we'll use the white. So this here um, is a mid-century piece of glass. I love the way the console bowl pulls up with those rounded edges. The piece measures Ten and a half, that's the diameter, Thomas. And it's three inches tall. He said Thomas. <laughs> Thomas was interested. I had a little bit of size. Inquiring minds want to know. Thomas is asking the tough questions. <gasps> I've been trying to figure out for months who Roy reminded me of. It's 90s HGTV interior decorator Christopher Law. I don't know how you get that, but <laughs> I used to watch that show. Um, I used to watch that show, too. Great little mid-century piece. I'm not sure if the... Oh, I see you, Jean, Jean? for $15. Yes, okay. um, I'm not sure of the maker. It, I tried looking it up, but I couldn't figure out if it was, you know, which company it was. But it's one of our companies that we like. Beautiful piece. I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. Go ahead. If, I got you. If Jeannie is the only one interested, going once, going twice, and sold. Congrats, Jeannie. Thank Beautiful. you, Jeannie. All right. And that was my last one this round, Jen. Okay. Thank you. And I'll pull you over. All right. So for my last three items, guys, Thomas, I will. It's like big, too. <laughs> it is a good three, four. Uh, and Jana, Jana is asking, did F get claimed? F. F did not. The Staffordshire birds. <laughs> no, it did not. Were you interested in this, Jana? If so, it is yours. The bird plaque, you got it. Congrats, that was beautiful, especially with that, um, with the bird colors. I love the colors of that. I all know, right. it's very colorful. So pretty. Um, all right, my first item this round is gonna be a flat $5. I have four of these, three are the same color, one is different. Uh, so I will show them to you. I have three green uh, trinket boxes right here. They're going to be a flat $5 letter J. Letter J. So I have, again, I have three green. And I have one purple. So they are similar, just different colors. Kind of like how my mama used to dress us. <laughs> Me and my twin sister in elementary school. We had the same outfit, different colors. <laughs> so again, letter J for her flat $5. I have three green and one purple. 
and same same on the inside as the purple and they're resin so they'd be these would be great gifts for little kids because they're not gonna break them <laughs> right they're not gonna they're not gonna break them but pretty colors very bright colors on these so five dollars letter j and then you can let me know which color you would like all right that was my first item my second item is going to start at six dollars and this is another thing for the crafters um, out there i have these stamps there are 40 stamps in an ink uh it looks brand new looks brand new um and these are kind of like um type typewriter letters which i thought was really neat and would be great um would be great for crafting but there are letters and then there are also numbers in here as well we got the hashtag team no craft right there, <laughs> right there. um so but i mean like, you could you could stamp i mean you're asking a lot right now <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if i could if i got one if i got one little piece of <laughs> of ink on me I would have like, and they look like this so they're easy you can stamp boom stamp boom and then here is the ink right there yes yeah, all the letters are there there are 40 of them there's 40 it's a whole the whole bag whole bag there's numbers and and um and letters in DM case. is interested at six dollars. Thank you, DM. Thank you. Looking for seven or more. I love the look of them. They're really fun. And again, the ink has never been opened. The ink is the ink is good. Like here's a number three. Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Jim the Crafter. No. Nah. No. Nah. Z numbers. I was trying to see if it was uppercase and lowercase, but I see uppercase and numbers. Yeah. And each stamp measures an inch and a quarter long by about half an inch wide. Half an inch wide. Very light as well. But if DM is the only one interested, we will count it down for DM. So going once, yeah, it's like a typewriter font. It's really fun. Uh, going twice and sold to DM for $8, oh, $6, sorry, six, $6, <laughs> not eight. I was looking at the wrong card. Because you had a lot of eights earlier. I know. <laughs> I must have eight on the brain. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know all right my last item of the sale uh oh let me move that to the side the boxes didn't sell all right are going to start at six dollars and i have a set of three butterfly nesting boxes right here and so they're a beautiful pink right there and so here is the design on the top really pretty and fun is that a phoenix oh no that's a leaf i thought that was i thought it was look right here that looked mm -hmm. like a phoenix it looked like wings almost so it's palm leaves. Ooh, there's another one inside yeah they're nesting they're nesting ones right there and you open up the middle size there's a small one so they all they all nest together just like this so six dollars if anyone is interested if not but wait <laughs> there's more <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh all right but if there is no interest we can pass on the butterfly nesting boxes and those were my three <laughs> thank you guys they're fun. fun i see mike is interested at six oh. i'll make for you back over okay all right mike i'll count it down real quick for him yeah absolutely all right so going once going twice 
and sold to Mike for six dollars. Thank you, Mike. They're coming to you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, my first item up is going to be an offer up at fifteen dollars. I have a globe paperweight. And this is all with inlaid stone. It is three by three inches. So if you, we can see, let me get to the US here. So this is like a mother of pearl, this white that's gonna blow out a little bit in Canada. And then all of these are different pieces of inlaid stone. Wow. That, that make up this globe paperweight you all of the countries i just like how it's all this different type of inlaid stone isn't it cool it has a nice felt bottom i have got the whole world in my hands you got it <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one the black has um, some detailing in it. It's not just full black. It's like, um, I don't know all of my precious stones, guys. So you'll have to bear with me. But it is really pretty. I love that black. And how it has the texture in this black that kind of reminds me of the waves of the ocean. Mm. Get it pulled out. All sorts of different inlaid stones for this paperweight. Definitely something a little different. I was thinking it would be good for, um, I don't know, just to put on a desk, maybe for Father's Day, isn't that? Wait, that passed, did that? No, I think Not yet, it. right? Yeah. I was thinking, you know, on a gentleman's desk. But I don't see any interest, so I will pass on the paperweight. Oh, I see Mike is interested at 15. So I will go ahead and count it down for him. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Congrats, Mike. Thank That's you, cool. Mike. Thank you. All right. My next item up is going to be a straight claim for $18. I have a, oh, I should have looked up this word. I'm going to pronounce it wrong. I'm, I already know everyone's going to kill me. Um, no. Hello, Lena. No judging. Mexican Talavera. Did I say that correctly? Pottery. Yeah, it's a handled tray. Hi, Lena. Lena never says hi to me. She always says hi to you and your aunt, who's not here. <laughs> she, never, Maybe she, she never says hi to me. <laughs> this is um, a handled tray from Del Carmen, Mexico. It's got all of these beautiful colors, measuring 10 and a fourth inches by six. And she said it above, uh, Jen, you missed it. No, oh, did I? Okay. Hi. Mm -hmm. She said hi to you first. Hi, Lisa. All of those beautiful colors on the back here. So it does have its original sticker from when someone purchased it in Mexico, but it is marked Del Carmen, Mexico, and that's in pesos. So if you can do a quick conversion, let me know. <laughs> no, I was like, I thought it was $259, and then I saw pesos. I was like, oh, okay. Thank you. Pamela, I'm assuming you're saying I pronounced it correctly. You said it correctly. Good. Uh, Good job. But it is just a really pretty piece. This is, um, you know, a different type of pottery from Mexico. It's kind of got that raised, bumpy texture with the paint. Really pretty. You did, girl. You did. I just missed it. <laughs> oh, Doug, Doug nailed it. 240 pesos is fourteen dollars and sixty four cents U.S. There we go. Be the last time she says hi. <laughs> Be so pretty. All right. I don't see any interest, so I will pass on this. It is very pretty colors. 
All right. My last item this round is going to be an offer up at $25. I have a vintage wooden fish. And he does have his original tag. Look at those beautiful, oh. bright, vibrant colors. This is, let me get the tag over here for you. It is Panko, and it's from the Bring Life to Wood collection. That is big. It is a good size, this guy. Let me highlight that. Doesn't it look so a little bit about their exceptional craftsmanship? I'm sorry, Lena. <laughs> you know I love you. But so let's, he's got this, look at the painted detail on here. I love these bright colors. That fin is three-dimensional, as you can see, carved out of the wood. Beautiful bright colors. He measures uh, eight and a fourth inches by seven tall, starting at $25. He sits on a piece of coral. Piece of real coral. And his other side here, nice, bright, and vibrant. Yeah. That's really what I cool. like about it. Bring color into a lot of spaces, as my friend Christopher Lowell would say. <laughs> Your doppel, doppel, what is it, doppelganger? Doppelganger. <laughs> See, you, you say that all day, Doug. I think he looks like Tom Selleck. Ooh. Ooh. In the 80s, though, not now. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that uh, distinguishing. Yeah, I had to clarify. I had to, who's who's the dude that did the bear the bear rug? Who is that dude? Y'all know. I don't see any interest in our vintage panko fish, so I will go ahead and pass. And that was my last one, Jen. All right. Wonder so what that I will means. bring you. What was that? I said, I wonder what that means. If that was your last one. Is it speed round time? It's speed round time. <laughs> I was wait. I, I wasn't sure. I was it what <laughs> comes next? Also, anybody wearing earbuds? I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll pull you on over, Jen. I get excited for the speed round. I love I, me some speed I do round. too. <laughs> I love it. All right, so my items um, still available. I had the wooden. Um, Pestle and mortar, or mortar and pestle. Oh my God, I don't know why I can't say it. Mortar and pestle, right Good here. Good job. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, both pieces very light as well. I don't know, and I even, I even, um, I was wanting Deshambo <laughs> to, to be on. I was wanting Deshambo to win. I don't think he did. I missed the last day, so I didn't see who won. Uh, <laughs> but we have uh, this was. $8, letter D, $8, letter D, for Schaefer one. Ah. Oh, he that's the dude where his wife was, was, wasn't there because she was, like, fixing to give birth any second. Right, Lena? Pretty sure that's the same chick. Or the same dude. <laughs> uh, not chick. All right. $8, letter D. Then I had the beautiful Formalities Large Cracked Egg right here. It does have a sticker uh, that says it is hand painted right there, hand painted and trimmed with 10 karat gold all along the top. And there is even some design in that gold. It's big, guys. It is it is big. Um, this was $10, letter B, $10, letter B, no chips, no cracks on it. Um, and then I had see the basket i had the crochet rags basket <laughs> i remember denise i remembered but here is the inside here is the handle I see lois for letter b thank you lois lois you would like the egg thank you lois it is coming to you thank you all right let me put that over in the sold pile real quick Next week, I'm going to ask you what that basket was. You better remember. I will not remember. Good luck with that. <laughs> I will not remember at all. 
Uh, but for the crochet rags basket, here's the bottom right here. This was $8, letter M. $8, letter M. I had... No, no, no. Leave the basket alone. She come over here. Cujo coming over here sniffing. Oh, the cow creamer. I had the really fun cow creamer. It is just a plain white. So it will match with a variety color of different decors right here. And Mike is taking the basket. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Let me pull that. It is so fun. It is so fun. I love that thing. All right, the cow creamer right here is $5, letter K, $5, letter K, if you are interested in that. And you could put a succulent in this. You could put, you know, whatever, whatever you'd like in it. And then I had, oh, the set of six forks, five knives right here. The knives are marked stainless, made in Hong Kong. And then I have the forks to go with them. They have the wooden handles right there. These were eight for all 11 pieces. It was $8 letter L, $8 letter L. And then my last item, um, I had the trinket boxes that were a flat $5. So I had three of the really pretty green ones right here. Here is the inside. So I have three green and one purple. One purple. So if you are interested, they were $5 a piece. They were letter J. So just let me know which color um, you would like when claiming them. And those were mine. All right. Thank you, everyone. My first item up is go that I have available still is letter S. It is the 1979 Anesco Cat Bank for letter S. It measures seven inches by five and a half. Marked on the bottom, Anesco stamped and with a sticker. Got its um, little plug there. So you don't have to break them open when you put all of your coins inside. Great little face with hearts and stars. Letter S for $20. I had the wooden carved antelope, 11 inches tall by five, $18 letter A, $18 letter A for this carved antelope, all out of wood. I also had the Lennox Dolphin, letter, letter N for $25, seven inches tall by six. It's hard to do the board in. Yeah. <laughs> My hands out of the way here. Beautiful frosted crystal as well as clear here. I love the combination. It is marked Lennox on the bottom. Right there. 1994 Lennox. I also had the two chamber pots. You get both of these guys together. $12, letter E. One says, is a pink luster, it says just my size. And the other one is a little faded there, but it says just what the doctor advised, $12, letter E. I had the two left in angels, $12 each. Letter K, both three and a half inches tall. We have this one here, which is left in from the Christopher collection. 
Um, and this one here is Lefton, and it is an August Angel. Lois, you would like the Dolphin for 25? You got it, Lois. The Dolphin is coming to you. So $12 each on the Lefton Angels. The Christopher Collections one has its original sticker and was from 1986 with its original tag. And the other Lefton August Angel has a little bit of gold coat paint loss marked on the bottom 332. And I also had what you just saw, $18, letter L for the Televera Mexican Pottery. Um, 10 by a fourth by six. Beautiful painting on here. It is from Del Carmen, Mexico. 10 and a half inches by three. $18, letter L. And the last item I had was the Panko Fish Vintage from their Brings, Brings Life to Woods collection. Beautiful carved bur uh, fish with the little fins there on a piece of coral. $25 letter D for this. I didn't get to read your message, Doug. Those were all of my items. Let me pull Jen and I back up together. We breaking. Well, we'll see. I don't know why. Now I can't see the chat. You don't need to see us. We're you handsome. Handsome. And Mike is claiming your fish. Oh, Mike. Thank you. For, see, I couldn't see. Doug see? was trying to make me not be able to see. Thank you, Mike. This is coming to you. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, good. Thanks. Oh, man. What did you What's do? What's that Doug? mean? I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. I scared? did exactly what you asked, Doug. <laughs> no, you scared? <laughs> I feel like maybe screenshot, maybe side by, side by side, isn't it? I don't know, but I'm afraid that there's going to be some sort <laughs> of uh, DM about God me only next knows. week. And DM said God Doug, only we're going to have issues. I'm going to get that address from DM. You're going to be that little serial killer stamp thing isn't going to be as scary <laughs> as what I got playing. He's going to go. Doug, sure he's going to go. He's going to go through magazines, cut out letters and stuff. <laughs> oh my God! Please Thank you very that. much, everyone. So funny. That'd be so funny. Please do that. <laughs> I'm glad you found it funny. I got nervous for a second there. I was like, oh, wait, he might not find this funny. <laughs> People know. Look, Becky, Doug already has issues. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jen, what do you got coming up this week? I think you have a sale tomorrow. I have one more sale this week, and then my week is done. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, so I have the twin sister sale tomorrow with myself and my twin sister, Christine. Uh, it is at 1.30 p.m. Central, and I'm bringing more of those purses. Oh, well, I'll show you. I've got Remember these purses that you guys loved? I'm bringing more of these. So I'm, I'm actually bringing a lot of them because I picked up like 12 of them. <laughs> I picked up a lot of them because you guys loved them so much um, last time. So I'm bringing I'm bringing uh, several of those tomorrow. Uh, you know they're going to be cheap and cheerful. So come join us tomorrow for the Twin Sister Sale at 1.30 p.m. Central tomorrow. Jen will sell spider with Trisha. Thomas, I'm like totally <laughs> tempted. I'm totally tempted, Thomas. Well, guys, don't forget to check Jen's video out tomorrow morning. She'll be having a video come out. Right, Jen? What time? 8 a.m. Central. 8 a.m. Central. Along Don't with forget the to check smoke. that out. Do Monday at 8 a.m., I do a vintage-related video every week. 
Um, so come check it out. You do. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. It is always so much fun, not just with me and Roy, but it is so much fun hanging out with y'all and getting to show y'all some cool stuff. And it's always a pleasure chatting with you guys. It is. It is. Y'all brighten my day. You don't know it. Y'all do so much for me. Y'all brighten my day. So thank y'all. Thank y'all for showing up. We appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. And, uh, We'll catch you on the next one next week. Jen's channel, 6.30 Thursday. Yep. Yep. Don't miss us. <laughs> Your radio announcer voice, don't miss us. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, DM. Thank you, DM, as <laughs> always, for being a moderator. Hi, Lou. <laughs> Lou, were you lurking the whole time? I could have been talking to Lou, you. Lou was talking earlier. <laughs> Wait, I missed. Wait, what, Doug? What? I'm scared. I'm scared for you, Roy. I don't know what Doug has up his sleeve besides his arm, but it's something. I don't know. I'm I should never have taken you. my glasses off. I knew it. Oh, <laughs> you're a, you're a good sport, though. I was like, I'll just be nice. This is what I got. I came in when Roy had the whole world in. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the whole world. <laughs> Careful. I don't want to get monetized. No, no. Oh. Demonetized. No, That's whatever true. that is. That's true. That's true. I'm only joking. I'm, I'm just joking. I'm not even mon I'm not there yet. Oh. <laughs> I said it at the beginning. <laughs> I was gonna I was just gonna say I'll throw you three cents. It's good. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I felt bad for like this bit, this many, this list. Well, I'm long. trying to so get bad. there, Jen. Go subscribe. You're getting there. You are going to get there. Quick. All right, guys. Have a great night. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.